So his transformation either has to be lower or higher. So he's got to kind of arc the basketball some. And you saw him do that a couple times tonight in those situations. So just a smart guy, understand him. And, but, like, he doesn't have – I always say this, and I don't think you guys totally grasp it because you don't live it. But there's so much crap that goes on with recruiting. And you feel bad for young kids because they get put on this pedestal and then they go and play college basketball and people see him and they're like, well, he's not all that. Well, he's young. You know, he's 18, 19 years old playing against 22-year-old. He doesn't have any of that. So, like, when he was 15 years old, he didn't play organized basketball. So, like, that's such a big piece to where when you tell him something, it's not a fight. He kind of takes it in. Now, he might argue with you a little bit, but he's, he's pretty smart. And under, like, when, like when he said that right there, like, hey, man, don't drop the ball. He says, well, I can, you know, transfer the basketball, and I can do it, what you're saying, but I'm going to elbow this guy in the head because it's 6'9 and you're 7'4". You know, and so, like, things of that nature, he, he has a good feel for what he has to do whatever, but the, the other stuff, like, off the court, like, he's just a selfless person. He's a good guy. Like, he's, he, he's never been one of those guys that didn't score, which this doesn't happen a lot, but, like, he's mad when we win and he scores 14, right? Like, he's never that guy. Like, and, and, like when you deal with people that are skilled, like, they want to win, but they, they want to score, too. They want to score. Like, you'll see the bitter beer face sometimes. You'll see those guys. You'll be like, come on, man, we won by 30. I know you only shot four times, but, like, but like they work so hard. Like, they're maniacal workers. So when you put in that kind of time, like, you just, you know, you want to crack at it from a shooting standpoint. And not every time it's going to be where you're going to get the volume of shots that you want. Sam Russell. Matt, I asked earlier about the just how hard it is for Cam to sit there and not play and, and kind of wait for an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Miles is kind of in the same boat. And I feel like every year in an NCAA tournament, we see a guy like this come off a bench and have a big game that nobody saw coming. Yep. Just how big of a luxury is it to have – you know, a, a freshman who's not gun shy that comes in and you know, right. as soon as he touches the ball, he, he, if he got a shot, yeah. he's going to shoot it up. No question. And, and even if they take it away, like having a game like that, um, you know, Mason making nine threes last year against Penn State, like you, it's the first thing that should be on Mason Gillis's, you know, scouting report. This is the first thing on cams. So the more space we can give Zachary, the better. So Braden gives him space, Fletch gives him space, Cam gives him space. Like, all the guys that can really, really shoot. Lance Jones gives him space. So, like, all the guys that can really shoot, you know, that's all it's going to do for him. So, like, now if they want to overdo things with him, now, you know, Cam has the ability to make that shot, make that drive and a closeout, and just make a good basketball play. Just, it just completes our team and gives us balance. Thank you. Yeah.